Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Sofa Batson Sofa Batson U1 this is a universal remote and um, you can get it on Amazon for fifty dollars. I have it here and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what this controller is all about. The con the company contacted me a few days ago and I was curious about this controller or remote. Um, I do need a universal remote for the living room because we have too many devices that are linked up. This will save you tons of power. It will make it lots very compact for everything. Like you don't have to change out batteries for several remotes. You don't have to keep grabbing a different remote and just using that one and whatnot. But this one is probably one of the best universal remotes out there. It's competing against the LG, or no, the, um, the Harmony Universal Remote by Logitech. So here's the manual, and then you have a happy not happy. Here's the remote itself. It has an OLED screen on the top, a little scroll wheel. You have a power button. And then some other buttons here, you have volume up, down, you have a uh, changing channel, okay, a little D-pad, you have the mute button, pause, play, stop, you have two fast forward buttons and rewind, and then you have some other buttons right here, I don't know what these do, most likely for Xbox or something, I don't know, it does come with two double A's which is really cool. There is an app for this, so you can go ahead and set it up. I don't, yeah, there's nothing else. There is an app for this, so you can go ahead and set it up. It's really cool. So it is, yeah, the Bluetooth remote. Let's go ahead and open this. I don't know how to open it. I'm gonna go ahead and open this real quick. All right. And then you just grab the batteries. Put them in here. Has these little prongs in there. I don't know what that does, but there's prongs in there. So you go ahead and put them in. I don't know what brand these are. Oh, Max, so. These look like good batteries and they'll last a long time. We'll see about that. So here's the remote. Turning on for the first time, and this is connect to the sofa batten app. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up, and we're gonna test it out. It has a weird little reflection thing, but that's only on uh, the camera. The sofa batten U1 controller replaces your original old controllers and remotes and you're able to use them with just this one i have already two devices set up cable t cable and apple tv and you can use it with the scroll wheel it has a weird effect but that's because of my light but um anyways it's really easy really simple to set up it takes about five minutes for each of them um, the Apple TV was actually a little bit easier because it's only four remote or five remote keys just left right up down Okay back and then pause and play So it's a little bit of work, but anyways, it's really simple really easy uh, It has a nice sleeping feature which if you just leave the controller alone um, It'll automatically sleep. It's an OLED screen. So OLED is obviously the best power conserver, better than the LCD, and that's nice that they have an OLED screen on here. Um, you can go up to like 400,000 different channels. There's many different channels you can put, but on here you can add a lot of devices, I think up to four or five, um, which is really cool. I'm going to be filling up this whole entire remote 
has a nice Bluetooth database. You can go ahead and search up in their databases, just look them up. You can just easily put the model and serial number in the app, and then it'll automatically configure all the buttons if you have a ton of buttons, which I didn't want to do because I don't remember the model number for the remote. Uh, I don't know if it's a model number for the remote in the original one. You just like look in the remote and then just find the model number behind the batteries. Uh, but you basically do that. I'm going to go ahead and test out if you're able to do an Xbox One controller on this remote. Because then I could just use the buttons on the bottom. That's probably what they're going to be for. And I can just use it for like um, Netflix or something. I don't have to use my Xbox One controller, have it plugged in all the time. I could just pick it up. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and test that out right now. Never mind. It's a, it's a cool idea, but I forgot you have to have an infrared or an IR blaster on the end of the remotes, um, which some models don't have them. Obviously, all the Xbox One controllers are, aren't um, IR, but I might be able to set it up still. I don't know. I'll just figure it out later. But um, it has nice grip, so you can, like, if you have big fingers, I have, I have pretty small fingers, but you can go ahead and rest your fingers right here. Uh, I wish they would have added some grip around here, but uh, it's pretty good. It's lightweight. Um, it's heavy right here, but right here it's light. But it has a nice, it's even, so somehow, I don't know how, but it's even balanced weight. Almost. <laughs> Uh, but it's really cool. I really like this remote a lot. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon for $50. I'll leave a link in the description. As you can see, it has uh, a Google Play and a App Store for iOS and Android. And it supports multiple devices. And it has a ton of I, uh, IR codes on the cloud. Right here, advanced OLED screen. Customizable macro keys. Customizable remote button and a mobile app. And then sofa baton you won so this is a really amazing remote i highly recommend you to buy it because you can literally replace several devices as you can see apple tv roku fire tv you can do your main tv spectrum or something you can do several different devices you can do the google play um not google play sorry the um chromecast google chromecast you can do so many different things with it because you'll be losing your Fire TV stick, your Roku stick, your Apple TV stick. I've had all three, and I know that they're really, really small remotes, and you lose them a lot, especially the Apple TV. So if you just don't want to lose it, have it all in one controller, and uh, you're pretty much good. You can have the other TV remotes just stocked up, and you can just save them for later when you really need them. It's really good. It's only two double A's, so they'll last probably about two months to longer. I don't know. I don't really know how long they would last, but I'm going to give it to the test. Be using these. I'm going to set up a few more devices and show you what it's like in about a month or two. If I really like it, I'll let you guys know. Um, but so far, it's really good. It's really easy to set up. Apple TV was a little bit harder because the uh, IR receiver is smaller, but it's still easy. I really like it a lot, guys. Once again, link in the description to buy it.